rains, it snores. Like a rare breed, a breath of fresh air, you can see me. People stand up just to greet me. Role model kids want to be me. All about the rich. If anyone pays taxes, instant pay. thing was easy. What? Just come and wink my eye like a genie. Seven. on yellow peasant can kill me. Fuck taxes! Revolt! Hello and welcome back to Nickel City X Wing. My name's Greg and this is game two tonight. This one between the Foxes and the Ascendancy. First, representing the Foxes. It's Team Captain Catherine. That's still my favorite intro song that we have. And her opponent, representing the Ascendancy. It's Team Captain Sean. Joining me in the booth is the Dairy Diva himself. Uh, Nicholas hello. James Lucas Sperry. Hello, everybody. This is my apology tour for you guys. What the, the game that you just watched? <laughs> the apology tour. I am sorry for everybody that had to watch that. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I've lost. GG's to Sevwell. Hey, Nick. GG's. How does a yes. cloud lifter work? A cloud lifter? Yeah. I don't know if I've even heard of that before, to be honest. Should I have? It's, it's what you run with like an SM7B to boost the game. Oh, before it goes oh, into like oh, the preamp. Yeah, I would, dude. I would. I would have no idea. I wouldn't know. Is this a trivia question, or you would genuinely do you not know? I generally don't know because it doesn't get power. I don't know how it amplifies decibels without getting power. I don't know if it sucks like the forty-eight volt phantom power. It must. Yeah, it must be. It's got to take it from the original source, otherwise. Because it, it doesn't. Good. It doesn't plug into anything. So you basically you go from like mic. To cloud lifter to i use a, a revelator presonus but you might use like a, a red scarlet or something like that whatever um mm. whatever your your preamp input is i just don't get i don't understand how it works but i've been You're using a game. sure aren't you oh yeah yeah so You're i, about to I get was some. i was using a sure i've been using a sure forever but i also have the wave dx one right and yeah. like i've gone back and forth Okay, I like I like the DX. Um, it's smaller. Uh, it's but great, like, man. Yeah, I love it. So I was using the Shure because I'm like, this is so expensive to not use. Like, it's like a four hundred dollar microphone. Yeah, I can't imagine like just having that sit, not right. ever being used. But I was I was having issues. Like people in Discord were like, you're fading in and out a lot. Like. And people just kept asking me to repeat myself, and I'm like, "Do you, is it like volume or what's happening?" And, and is they it? keep saying you're fading in and out. So I'm wondering if maybe my cloud lifter, which you kind of have to get because the the PreSonus, it has 48 volt phantom power, but it, it's not quite enough to drive the the sure. What else do you need then? If it's if the van, phantom power is not enough, what else are you going to use? Well, that's why you get the cloud lifter because it it drives oh. the thing, but like. I don't understand how it works oh, because I it doesn't you, plug yeah. in. I don't get. You're what looking it, at purchasing it. I for some reason I thought no, you were. No, I, I have it. one. I have one, but it has no. It's just a. I gotta look a, on uh, this. I assume you're gonna pull it up. Yeah. yeah hold on. So I have it, but it's just XLR input, XLR output. There's no. It doesn't plug into anything, so it has to eat the phantom power from the thing, I would assume. But if the phantom power is not enough to drive the the Shure SM7B, how does the cloud lift? It doesn't make any sense to me. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't. S -s Science. Fucking magnets. How do they work? How do these work? Goddamn right. It's my favorite line in I, do I sound really bad? I am using head like um, head headphones for for my microphone. No, hopefully uh, terrible. 
it's like slightly static when you speak, which is a little abnormal for you, but it's not. Yeah, right. It, it feels very crappy to have to use like a, a C grade microphone. After, so you, after you've been to the top of the mountain. <laughs> it's true, right? I'm at the bottom right now, currently. Um, yeah, they could be, these are Pixel, um, like the OG, like Pixel 3 um, wired headphones. They're pretty decent. Um, sound wise at least like listening to audio i'll tell you what my nova pros i was like these are expensive when i bought them because they're like seven or like a hundred bucks ish mm -hmm. and i'm like pretty expensive but they are for the wireless just the most comfortable headphones and i, I basically wear them all day because i work all day you know and then like i get an hour and a half or an hour really 5 30 to 6 30 before stream so like literally today i just don't take them off and like they don't hurt my head at any point they're just they're the best great. best investment i've made in uh the headphone department what a, what a handsome devil bottom left corner everybody look at this man i wish i wish i was a handsome barely devil maybe i can get some fucking tinder matches well my mom says i'm handsome and i don't get any tinder matches so they're <laughs> bro boom roasted Self-roasted. I mean, your mom says I'm handsome too, but she just might not have good oh. taste. Oh, there was it. That was a layup. That was a layup. What was I going to say? Buffalo, you know what's talking about headphone Atlanta. quality and what's surprising um, about you know head our headphones and how good or bad they are. The um the AirPods sound so bad when you use them for both. You've noticed this, right? Like I don't it's, know, like how often you're in meetings and stuff, but so a lot of people I use don't... AirPods for meetings. I haven't used AirPods since I switched from the iPhone to, uh, to a better, an, a better an, phone. Yeah. yeah, an Android. And I use uh, the Samsung ones, like the equivalent. And the qual the sound quality is not bad. The noise canceling is way worse. I will give Apple credit where credit is due. The noise canceling on the AirPods is phenomenal especially compared yeah. to uh, the ones I have now. But the mic on both of them suck ass. Oh, dude, I mean, it's 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 remarkable how bad they are. If you So I've learned that if you use them for dual purpose, both for your audio, which obviously, why not, and for your microphone, it compresses the microphone quality so much that it sounds like you're underwater. And I remember having a meeting yeah, with some, like, some, somebody, and I never had met them before, and I don't know if, if I was just feeling like i was on a kick or something but i was just like are you and i was like are you using airpods and she's like yeah and i'm like well it sounds like you're underwater right now <laughs> she's like oh oh really because a lot and of then, these like tech bro tech companies like these tech bro they like they have no idea that they sound like trash yeah <laughs> with it's, their AirPods. it's a singular pleasure when like tech people don't understand that like Sometimes the latest and greatest is not actually the greatest. Yeah, and it's Apple, dude. Like, why are people so easily, like, they, they don't know anything about Apple and, like, what goes into making their products. They just assume that they're the best. And they're bad. Yeah. Like, most of their products are just bad. And I, I have an I iPhone. I mean, some like, of it's really good. I think, they're, I I think their Apple watches much. are pretty good. I think that's one yeah. of their better products. Um, I don't think the iPhone's bad. I just hate the the walled garden as they it's put just it. It's not top but, class. Like think a lot of Apple users just kind of profess. They yeah. are good products in some ways. I should. I guess I should rectify. The, there's myself. like a there's a, 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 a stigma that like like my phone costs a hundred dollars more than the iPhone. Oh, but there's dude, like a, a what, stigma that like it's awful. The Apple is the most expensive, or if you have an Android, you're too poor to afford an Apple. It's just not. Yeah, or that, uh, that Apple, and, and as a byproduct, that Apple is the best option, like, for a phone. And, like, I miss my Pixel phone, dude. Google makes a hell of a phone. Android phones can be some of the best phones, UI, UX, you can possibly pick from. So it, for I just for me, it's, it's like, it. I've been able to customize every single thing about my phone experience now, which is, like, I mean... I get why people don't want to like dive into things as much as I do, but um, for me, like once I actually got in, I was like, oh wow, yeah, I can actually like do the thing. And one thing I really liked on the iPhone was the dynamic island. Um, I was like, that is a, a cool idea for how to deal with that like camera notch being there thing. And then I'm like, man, too bad I can't get that on Android. 
And then it's like, oh, wait a second. It's everyone develops for this shit. And someone just made a dynamic island type thing for Android. And now that's how I get my notifications. It's like I'm not missing out on anything. Yeah. But also Apple's being sued right now for antitrust for all their uh, walled garden stuff. So depending on what comes out of that, there's a lot of stuff that Apple does, like the iMessage and whatnot, that may be coming uh, broken down. So before I go back to Apple, because you know I'll, I'll I'll see what the iPhone 16 has in store and if it's better than. Oh, are you are you interested? You're interested in switching back to Apple again? Maybe I'll go I'll go where, uh, wherever wherever whoever has the coolest shit, like the stuff that's important to me. Whoever's doing the best job with that, that's where I'll go. Apple is always being sued. Wait, what? Oh, I am signed in on somebody else's Twitch. That's really funny. I know why I'm going to sign out. <laughs> I am not, I am not Harain, the uh, Hearthstone streamer. Um, that's really funny. Okay. I was I miss, wondering. Like, I missed what Jane said. I, I can't find it. Apple being uh, the first to do a good touch screen was huge. Yes, the first iPhone was groundbreaking, and no one can ever take that away from Apple. But we are 17 years later, and I'm not uh, going to lend my loyalty because 17 years ago, Apple had a really cool idea. Uh, Apple is the best dev platform. I strongly disagree with that, although I do know a couple. I would say maybe one-third of the devs at my job who I oversee apples for 12 dude my it department absolutely hates when i have to have any issues with my computer because i actually i have a macbook pro one of like just like five people in my company that uses one and they they struggle yeah. so much with it well that's for the longest time i did too i actually bought an apple just to familiarize myself with it so i could actually be better at it with it because whenever someone had a problem with it i could not figure out for the life of me i'm like i don't know how any of this works Just saying it means something in terms of why people flock to it, but touchscreens are all the same now. I don't think anyone, I don't even think Apple like tries well, to sell like, people on it's their it's touch. It's kind screens. of a traditional societal thing. I feel like, like why do people still use Avid Media Composer to edit every single feature film, like almost every single one, because it just has been that way, and just people are like comfortable with what they know. Yeah, but it also costs a fortune to change up. It does, but when you have, like, America has a financing issue. Like, a lot of, I, I know that, obviously, iPhones you can get anywhere, but, like, when you can finance it through your your provider, it, like, it's like, that's not that expensive. I only pay, like, monthly for my plan. It includes my phone and all that, but you are paying right. a lot of money for your phone. But it seems cheap because of the way you pay for it every month. It's an interesting, I, I just, I what I, I appreciate is when people are more willing to, like, understand or, like, research, like, the, the quality aspects of Androids, which there are a lot, instead of just assuming that all Android users are like crappy, low life. Uh, yeah. you know, well, well, that's the thing about like Android is like, it's way more open. So like, there's like, there's only one iPhone, you know, like there's maybe three versions of the iPhone, but there's 18,000 Android phones. So you really have to like dig deep and, yeah, I think most people do Samsung or the Pixel. I think that's probably like the largest shares of uh, Android users, but there's millions like thing. And really, iPhone really only has dominance in the United States. Everywhere else is dominated by Android. Yeah, that's another thing. It's, it's I think mo mo a large majority of the world is is just it's Android. Dominant. Yeah. I think the splits it's like seventy percent or something, sixty something percent. My way or the Huawei. Huawei is dominant in China, I believe, but also it's very hard to get Huawei phones here because they're Chinese and it's a phone, and you know how our government is about Chinese and our phones. I'm still on your iPhone. Oh, X. another thing, that Greg, is, is a long battery life with iPhones is just incredibly bad. It, it deteriorates very quickly, even with a new phone. It starts off I, good, and then I think they're both. Quickly. I find them both to be. I so my Samsung will last longer than a new iPhone, but it's not like world beating. 
to me. And also, I, I mean, this is this is just a me thing, like, because I think battery life is very subjective to how, like, you live your life. But since I'm, like, at my desk all day, my phone's, like, sitting on a wireless charger or sitting near a charger at most times. So, I like, the, the battery life is not very important to me just because of the, when I'm working and, like, streaming and stuff. Most of the times, it, it's never really dropping very low. Um, someone who, like, yeah. is out more or, like, works on site and doesn't have, like, readily access to charging, it might be more important to them. But for me, it's not that important. I also don't, like, use my phone to, like, film things a lot. Yeah. Like, like if, I, I if I'm i taking a video on my phone, it's a very short video. It's not going to... Yeah. I've really appreciated, like, as someone who wants to do more, like, non-streaming, like, X-Wing content, like the shorts and stuff, because I find shorts to be really fun. It's yeah. really nice to just plug in my mic to my phone, just use the 4K video. It's good enough for what I have. I have a 12 as well, which is pretty old now, four years old. Yeah. Um, it's so, nice, though, because, like, just directly upload it to YouTube right after. It takes 10 minutes to edit. So, so you plug it in via Lightning? Do you have, like, a converter? Yeah, I have the um, wireless lav, the receiver. I just have a converter that plugs into the lightning because the iPhone 12 does not have a USB-C. Yeah, and so I bought... It immediately reads whatever I bought, I bought those is. wireless lav things like straight off Instagram. I saw it on Instagram and I was like, this is actually pretty useful. Yeah. So Are I they Hollyland started... or what did you buy? There were, there were whatever cheap brand. Fucking... Gotcha. Couldn't for for it. the players, for like in-person streaming and stuff because they definitely help yeah. with that as well is the in-person streaming yeah and those can plug right into my phone which was another selling point for me like mm -hmm. iphone switching to USB-C again because they got sued and have to um so they're they're switching to USB-C for everything now um but having the USB-C was a major selling point for android for me because there's a whole things like uh this phone can turn into a desktop it has like a desktop mode Mm -hmm. on it where it'll do kind of like I can just operate it as a desktop and then you plug in like a a port thing like um I forget what these are called the hub that has all the connections on the side and I can put a, yeah. a keyboard and mouse in it and just use it as a mm -hmm. desktop if I need it to like there's just a lot you can do Apple getting sued into putting out a good product is my favorite thing it is quite hilarious they don't want to like abandon Europe yeah, Samsung Ducks. That's right, Dean. Um, Is Nick having a good time in California? Hey, Josh. I just got here. Well, I've been here for a couple days in LA, and then I, I'm in with my family now. Um, I would have preferred to have played a better game of X-Wing in front of you all, but otherwise I'm doing pretty good. Just relaxing today. I had my flight this morning, so. Chilling. Hanging out with Greg. This engagement will be... Um, something we talked about uh before the stream started um tyranny and just kind of how it's generally bad for this imperial matchup just really turns off ruthless and the coordinate so in terms of affecting yeah actually put it on the most, put it on uh i think it's on rack, rack. It? yeah it's on rack yeah. so no coordinates for rack which rack was never going to do anyway yeah and can't use ruthless either is the i think the other thing that turns that's off but i honestly uh, don't believe I think Ruthless is just like, I have a point left over. What can I put on there? Yeah. I will say when Rack rolls blanks, you, you can't do anything with them usually. So Ruthless does help with that. So it will, if, if, if Rack rolls like average, he will not be doing much damage um, from his attacks. If he can't use Ruthless. So I guess the only thing you would be Ruthlessing is maybe Deathfire. Scythe 6 is possibly someone you would Ruthless. Wait, does Ruthless affect Death Troopers? I don't understand the question. You mean does tyranny affect death troopers? No, just this is referring. Those are referring to enemy ships, Darth Vader and death troopers. Uh, tyranny turns off referring to uh, friendly ships or allied ships. Yeah. It's it's almost rarely ever used because it's it the uh, Zai shuttle is just kind of bad in this meta. Um, I mean, I think in when I say meta, I think in two point five in general. I don't think it would change much if they drop yeah. change the points. Well, I mean, like five points. That's a Kylo, right? Like that's. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, five points. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> he 
Yeah, that's actually pretty. That's that's bad. Pretty impressive, Nick and Scarf like Minecraft. Well, sometimes I stream. If anybody has their games they want to stream on the weekend, I'm willing to pick them up. I don't know if anybody dropped any uh, games for the weekend in the Discord, though. I'll have to check. I could stream on my laptop. There are plenty of games left. So. Yeah, I would assume some people. Maybe? Okay. Okay, okay. Fair off, doing fair off things. So turning all in here on like Gaelic and uh, Malaris is on there. I'm assuming Malaris is probably gonna do thing. Ooh, fair off gets the block. This could set up a decent uh, plasma torp from your boy. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Who cares for ties? Get those focuses. Probably going to be a block. So, all right, I got an open, open question for you, Greg, and I guess anybody in the chat. Um, yeah. Aside from me being bad at the game right now, you might say, oh, you're asking this because you're bad at the game. Uh, are you... Given we have new stuff with like Endor, but obviously no new points um, beyond that yet, or you know whatever happens with that, are you like not having as much fun right now, or like how how are you like when you pick up do pick up games and stuff like, do you just feel like there's just you're just kind of we've had these points for so long besides the new stuff, I'm just so eager to like see everything change, that I've, I feel like it's more of a routine picking up a game unless I'm trying to practice like just Endor stuff, then that makes sense. But like, I'm just wondering how people feel right now as they continue to play their you know 1500th game of X-wing or whatever. I would say I'm not happening. having fun. I don't know. I don't think it's all bad here. Uh... I guess I don't mean to suggest that like it is. I, I more so just like the burnout phase that a lot of people get when they're waiting for things to change. It happens in every cycle of the meta. It's been I so would, long. I would happened. like them to so update the points. Like worlds happened, drop them points updates. Let's get a new thing in here. So I, I do want that to happen, but uh, don't. Uh... I'm having fun, but I don't play arcs. Neither do I. I like playing like soon tier. I think sometimes playing like in the case of Sevwall and I's game, obviously when you're playing against the same stuff, it's, it's certainly the least possible fun um, when you're, because it's just like more road dependent if this yeah. is pilots versus the same pilots, but. I'm also um, like a rebel player and I don't know, so much of my, like my childhood was playing like X-Wing and TIE Fighter and stuff that like, I just kind of sometimes get lost in the fact that I'm like Luke Skywalker and Legend Tillies and. Yeah. Well, I, I guess, like, for me, I, personally, I, I, I really would prefer to be able to build my own Luke Skywalker. I think some pilots, it's even more thrilling when you get to kind of interpret your own story with those iconic characters. But you, why yeah. would you build your own Luke when you have a very good one? At five points. Oh, no, Nick, it's high standardized cards. No. Is it realistic to play a game multiple times a week and not eventually find it doesn't hold your interest so much? That's the basic challenge here. Um, yeah, I guess the situation I'm in is I'm not actively also, looking to play games right I still right think now. you guys, like, focus too much on one list. Which, like, you're, if you're prepping for a tournament, I get it. It's fine. But, like, yeah. I think sometimes you guys go so... like I switch up my list, like, almost every time I play. Which I think helps keep me fresh in it. Um, yeah. Well, and Greg, you're in an interesting spot because you you stream more than you play, obviously. Yeah, for sure. And I I do both, and it's super hard for me because I spend so much time around this game. Um, if I'm not playing, I'm streaming. And I know you still obviously play, but you just do more streaming than playing. And it's weird to be like a streamer and then also play like in Worlds, and then like jump on GSP. And like we we both did that. And it's just like it's just we're just so involved. Um 
And I'm, I'm just, I think I've just played so many games recently that I'm like, you know yeah. what? I don't really feel like playing unless it's a draft league game or something structured or a league game in general. Well, I've also been playing a lot of Aerodome lately, so that kind of has my attention right now. But like, um, I don't know. I just view it more as like hanging out with people than... Uh... It's a good bomb drop for sure. Yeah, it's a great nice. bomb drop. That's the dream with that fire. <laughs> just double checking to make sure you don't catch <laughs> that TIE fighter. And I think Vader should probably uh, take out Malaris here. Oh, Wait, why? Mal. Why is he taking that thing? The line wasn't there. You know, you say that, Jane. I don't think Catherine... I would be surprised. Catherine just knows how to play this game so well that I maybe... This exact opening hasn't been practiced, but just like the setup and just the bases and moving them through the obstacle. I guarantee field. you, Catherine doesn't have a set opening. She's just doing this. Yeah, because she doesn't really love extra right now. Like, she's not like in love with it. She just yeah. plays because she loves us. She loves us. <laughs> and she's still super good. So. I'm, I'm still back. confused why Scythe We're took a card. And now Vader for the damage. Yeah, I don't get that. I, I, I mean, that really matters. Like, do you... proton bomb didn't hit Scythe unless they 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 were looking at it and they, it was in the base. But even then, tabletop, you just go to the chat log. Yeah, you you only go by the chat log. The visuals, like they've already said that they're not. 100% accurate on the visuals. Tell her she's cheating by helping her yeah. opponent by taking helping damage her cards. Opponent. It is a form of cheating. It's just the Stop unpopular kind. Stop the game. Sean denied the penalty. What penalty? The penalty of not... Like, I deny you not taking damage. Also, I was told that that doesn't... I, I'm not up to date. That doesn't exist anymore? Or is that just... Correct. Like, all told me? Oh, okay. It someone was just found, too much. Someone oh. found a loophole. Victor uh, Hell. Oh, okay. You could actually abuse it with Victor Hell. So it's, it's so funny. I don't have a good answer for it, so. <laughs> Sherman always one step behind. What doesn't exist anymore? There we go. That's some pints. Do do do. That is a horrendous joust against Rack. Not ideal. Rack's like, ooh, ha, 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 ha. very happy to see this. Yes. My mom texted me. What did my mom say? She said, "Where do I find ginger beer? Where do I find ginger beer, Greg?" Tell her her ginger beer is right here. That's, uh, is that what you call yourself these days? Well, Will, for your mom. She's, she's struggling. It's Fever Tree brand, like the tonic. I would have done that for free, Jay. JW4, no, I didn't. That's wild. I didn't know they, uh, they caught my people. They caught my peeps. I think this joust is... Joust being described as horrendous. Right. Yes, my God, Jay. When you're jousting a uh, decimator and you have bombs on the flank, bombers on the flank, ooh. <laughs> Tierney's just out there like, I'll get there someday at five points. I'm here. <sighs> So Tomax shot at uh, Malaris and missed. So now Rack's going to do their best.
hit crit. And there goes Malorus. I will remember oh, you. Losing Malorus early is always sets the tone in a bad way for the FO player. Yeah. I Felix. say as if I know anything about this game. Don't believe has any friendlies in range. Uh, and, and everybody that the, your choices would all be stressed, uh, except for Midnight, who again is out. So, Gaelic, you'd be lucky to get Gaelic's ability off maybe once in a game, but then you start to run into those issues where you're just out of range or someone's stressed, or it's just like. All right, so that's the fives. Let's go down to the fours. This is static. Now, you don't double stress static here, right? So you just take your two dice shot into Deathfire. Static, uh, no tokens. But we take do a have... strain, get an extra die. We do have. This is fair off, too, so no Palpatine stuff. Static is. is things, isn't static the one that gets like to change things to crits? After spending a lock and a focus, isn't that static? Oh yeah, maybe I think you're right. No, it's uh, it's a very bad ability. It's very hard to get off. Who oh Scorch is the, the Yes. Uh, uh, borch the... Borch, as we like to call it, DT is this take the strain to roll an extra attack die and scorch. Yeah, DT is so much better. <laughs> take the stress, yeah. Well D uh, DT with um with what's that called the regen thing that they have deuterium uh, deuterium is pretty solid you just swap you just become scorch basically for a couple turns borchy borch that'll be the full potato and two go into death fire I mean, you can already argue that Deathfire's done his job. So, I think once Deathfire uh, drops this next proton bomb, Deathfire is happy just oh, dying. He is happy freaking camper for sure. All right, so this is going to be two v one into Faroff. If you spend the focus, which you won't, Faroff gets the auto evade. So, Faroff will have to roll. It's the evade anyway. The it's... tyranny of one agility. The tyranny, pun intended, in this yes, case. Yes, it was very much intended. Very much intended. And now Faroff actually gets to shoot. I forgot they could do that. And this is going to be into Midnight. Classic 3v5. That's true. Um, let's. I just want to get the name right. Uh, Muska, but also it's just kind of a lot of effort for a two dice shot. I mean, unless you do get into range one. Mac Rat cleared the condition when he did damage to Mal. I don't actually know. While from an attack before declaring defender, each allied ship in the attack arc it is not stress gains one stress token. Interesting. After you defend or perform an attack, if the defender was dealt at least one face of damage card or was destroyed, remove this condition. Yeah. Uh, no, but... The proton. Yeah. Did Mal? I thought it was face down damage that Mal took. But... Mal did take face down damage. But also got destroyed by Rack. Or was, or was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Back to the crit and killed Mel. Yeah, so I think. That's true. The condition gets removed. Midnight out there dying. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to ask them because I've literally not seen Tyranny played in months. Yeah, you should, you should ask about Scythe as well. That's, that doesn't make sense. Yes. Hello. No, I'm not. Hello. Okay. I have two questions. Okay. I am super unfamiliar with Tierney. I believe the condition gets removed because uh, no. Malice yes, died. Because he did a oh. he did perform an attack and was dealt, so the condition is removed. Okay. Yes. And then why why did Scythe take a crit? 
I didn't. I missed it. Oh, broken because trust says when you have the condition. Not, no, no, no. He asked about the crit. It was oh, the crit, because oh, the, bomb. the the bomb. It didn't actually show the line, but the marker was cutting through the base. Mm -hmm. like okay. Just a tiny, tiny fraction. I mean, if you're both okay with it, that's fine. Um, typically, go by what the the chat box says. But if you're cool with it, I'm cool with it. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so I mean they went they went by visually, but I mean if Catherine's oh. cool with it, it's not much I can do, right? Like if she agrees to take it, it wasn't like a uh a, a torn decision, you know. One of those things we're not gonna hound on it too much. Both players agree they're responsible for the board state. My mom's like sending me, she's like, what's ginger beard? Hello, hello. I'm like, just get the regular stuff. There's like hibiscus. I'm like, I just, where's the regular stuff, man? Just get beer, mom. I know you've gotten beer before. That's how you met dad. Right? I just assumed they met at a bar. Oh, yeah. Like the old days when people used to meet in the settings that were not online dating apps. Unless Nick was born. In second life. I got into, yeah. That's why I started streaming for all the, the women. For the babes. Yeah. Good for you, Andre. It looks like it worked out. We got an excellent new woman. Yeah. That's why he's married with two poopy children. Poopy. Keep hiding poop on him. I will say I was late to a date because of a, Le a draft league game. And I decided, I was like, I just Priorities. told her exactly why I was late. And she's like, are you kidding? And I'm like, no. And she's like, you were late because you were playing a video game. I was like, yes, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just didn't really care anymore. And she thought it was funny and we laughed about it, but also like, that's kind of not good. <laughs> I didn't think the game would go beyond time. I was like, you know, one of those things. But I thought that was amusing. You were hanging with the fellas. Nope, I don't have any friends. <laughs> Just my patrons, they 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 pay me to make me feel like I have friends, just because they feel so bad for me. You know, that's normal. <laughs> the first tier is you get to be my friend. You should have been like voice. a wizard is never <laughs> early nor late. Just gone yeah. full nerd. Well, she hasn't nerd. seen Lord of the Rings, so just gone tough. full nerd and really tested her. Look, it's a tabletop game that happens to be on PC. Okay, they're different. The amount of times I have to explain it, it's like, so it's a video game? It's like, well, no, it's a tabletop game, but you can play it online. It's this whole thing. You know, it's like, yeah, I don't really care. You're not my, you're not my friend, Nick. I mean, I, I hope you're my friend. Please be my friend. No Lord of the Rings by paper. So here's the thing. If they're willing to watch it and they haven't seen it, I'm okay with that. Because the, the, being able to introduce something that, I love that much to somebody and seeing the reaction, hopefully, hoping they like it, is kind of fun. Um, if they said, oh, I don't like it, it's too, too long, it's too boring, then they, that literally has caused, I have unmatched people over that before, I will continue to do so. I That's do not, not care you if some, know. people love to tell me they haven't seen Star Wars when they like read my profile. They're like, I have a confession to make and I, I know right away what's coming. They're like, I've never seen Star Wars. I'm like, I don't care. 
like i know they uh, always <laughs> gonna judge them for that it's like star wars kind of is so inconsistent and you know not a lot of women love star wars there are plenty that do obviously but I, i'm not expecting everybody to love like my whole star thing wars is i don't care if you like it or no. you could hate it I, I don't care yeah just don't don't like get in the way of me liking it you know what yeah, i mean like sure that's what i, I care about like i Everything else is gravy to me. I don't, I don't fucking. I'm not into everything fucking everyone else is into. If she likes Vanderpump Rules or whatever, I'm not yeah. gonna be like, I'm sorry, I've never seen Vanderpump I, again, I Rules, do, and I never will. I I do find like if they don't like Lord of the Rings, it it means that they have really bad taste, and I do actually find that to be a red flag. Star Wars, <laughs> I don't care as much about. I just can't. I just. I can't. I can't settle for somebody who doesn't that doesn't like Lord of the Rings. I, th- I think it sounds as outrageous, but it's also very reasonable. Like maybe maybe they don't me? like books that use the word queer seven thousand times to describe well, grass. I, I'm, I'm I am referring to the movies in this specific case. If we're gonna, I, 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 let's put on the rabbit hole. Yeah, racist. <laughs> like Lord of the Rings. Fucking... I think it's because you're racist. Man, those books are so bad. Wait, does that dry? What did I miss? What if she hates the bills? Oh, there you go. What if she hates the bills? Again, I don't care. I will also say being a Cardinals fan is a red flag as well. I cannot date a Cardinals fan. If if she was a Patriots fan, like I would give her shit about it, but I wouldn't actually care. Come on, Greg. Be gay and move on. There you go. I'm trying to be gay. Do you I'm know what I would clean gay. up? If I were gay, do you know how hard I would clean up? Wait, how did Vigo break his toe? And did he and his castmates get matching Let tattoos? Me explain Thanks, something. Deep dish pizza is not only not better than New York pizza. Clap back and kill your Greg Cam. It's I, not I miss pizza. clap back. Aren't they doing like a Borderlands movie? Yeah, with Kate Blanchett. I'm like, what the hell? I was shocked. I'm like, my girl Kate is in a Borderlands movie. What? That is, it's, oh my god, it's so weird. We lost Greg Cam. Yeah, you damn, damn right we did. Sometimes I turn it off. And you know what? I'm not going to say sorry. Something about sitting under those lights for this long, commentating on really bad X Wing by Nick. Nobody else but, but me. Will somebody attack me, please? <laughs> Do you remember that, Greg? Ben Carson? <laughs> Isn't he dead? Is he? <laughs> he died? <laughs> what? Yeah, I also am confused why no. I think he's dead. Bomb. I'm pretty sure Ben Carson is dead. Ben Carson. Is he alive? Oh, yeah, apparently he's still alive. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's so iconic. Will somebody attack me, please? <laughs> You're thinking of the other black Republican presidential candidate. No, I know who that is. I know who. Well, I for, can't think of his name right now. Yeah. Herman Cain. Herman Cain. Yes. Oh, uh, Herman. Hermy. Hermy. Hermer. And now Tierney will resign himself to being a objective gopher. Assault at the satellite array. Let's assault him. What does Hux do? I know it's something with coordinates. Hux, I just don't know what it uh, is. Yeah, Hux allows multiple coordinates. Um, they all have to be the same. Okay. I think he can do up to two more ships. Triple coordinate. It's, it's yeah, he it, it can definitely be very strong. They're too all bad, red. Too bad they're all stressed. I am shocked that there's no bomb here. Not within the range one of Death Troopers. So we'll I think Tim freely. Scott is the one that people think is a closet homosexual, which, again, being homosexual, absolutely no problem. But, like, people are, he, they think that he's gay because he didn't have a, a partner, and then they, like, put him up with some, some woman for his campaign. Very bizarre stuff. I mean, you can be single and in politics. I don't understand why that matters. I know. It, it, well, they think it does. It's like, dude, that's not going to shoot you up in the polls. You're polling at 1% or below. Like, they're not going to... That doesn't matter. 
Tim got Old married. No one expected that. Joining at the most opportune time where we talk about all the things GSP would never talk about live on yeah. Air. Hello, Literally, Dion. this whole day has or, been or James probably had things that they would never let let you guys talk yeah. about. He's he's responding in emojis. Oh no, I wonder. Dion, respond with three emojis if this is you. Give me three emojis. He's gonna respond with two, and it's gonna trip me up. Oh, he only two. Oh no. Well, I'm gold six standing by. But I do need to give you a disclaimer because I am on Greg's stream and I'm saying crazy stuff that I am not gold six for this stream. <laughs> no, he's gold one. This is gold, gold leader. I'm certainly not gold leader. I ain't gold leader. Gold leader here. It's Will, yeah, yeah, di oh, yeah, dingus. You know what? What are you doing? Identity, th identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of streamers suffer every year. What you was, doing on? I'm not a big office guy, but that was a good bit. Yeah, there are. So here's the thing. I start to. I'm starting to really just fall in love with the the actors. Like Rain Wilson is so awesome. I love. I love him. He's great. Makes the show very funny for me. GSO coming by to make sure we pay our taxes. What's GSO? Gold Squadron? Yeah, I, th uh, I think you meant GSP, uh, who faithfully too. pays their taxes, probably claims dependence and shit. Yeah, I'm a dependent for GSP. Nick, did you know that in the Army, Army Aviation 6 is the leader? One is Signal, two Intel, three Ops, four Supply, five, I fucking forget. So what is six? Is there nothing for me? There's no place for me in the army. In the army. Am I the am I the um, towel guy? One is one is human resources. Oh, six is the commander. Oh, well, I'll take I'll take that. Six is the leader. Oh, well, look at that. I well, everybody, it's come to my attention that I am the leader. I'm the commander. You are the commander, which means you're running two Patreons. Dick move, man. Oh, man. My first order of business is I will take Sevwell's points and apply them to me for that game. And that's 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 the my, that, in my first 100 days, that'll be the first thing I do. Yeah. So uh, next platform is I'm reversing all of my losses. Yeah, I'm one and four, dude. I'm having a good season so far. The irony being that is also Trump's platform. Make him pay for it. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, expenses I need to take care of. You have $31 one expense. sign is in the red for a, sh a short period of time. I mean, you have one expense, and it's really expensive. <laughs> I do want to thank everybody for donating to the stream to help boo, with the car. Boo this <laughs> man. Boo. <laughs> I don't have that much money, man. It's only you have like over, over a million dollars. Like five million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I took a small loan of a million dollars from my father to be able to start through one dollar sign. And here I am today accepting donations. All right. So midnight's about to get lit the fuck up. With a Connor net, if Deathfire doesn't die, this is going to be a three v one range one banger from I Midnight. Think, I think I think Midnight has one da one damn hole left, Greg. I thought I saw two damage cards on Midnight. Yeah. Oh, Vader. Yeah, Midnight's down to one. Yeah, Vader. So the Connor net would kill Midnight. Connor net kills Midnight. You might as well shoot Rack because I don't think you have any other shots. So. Or maybe you got out the back there to Goran. So maybe take Goran and let Deathfire kill Midnight. I, I hope you guys who bought into the Truth IPO sold. I anybody I don't want to know if anybody bought into Truth Social that is in this chat. We need to know who you are so we can permanently ban you from every platform. 
Well, I need to know just to know who to never take money advice from. Anyone who bought into that is fucking stupid. Why the strap? Oh, that tyranny. But we should go public, Greg. Right? Wouldn't that be fun? People could buy NCX stock. You could have a, you have shareholders. I did make an NCX coin based on Solana. Uh -huh. Oh, Greg coin. I'd buy Greg coin. What was NCX? To coin? the moon. To the moon. NCX coin. To the moon. So that is into midnight. That's, hey, that's pretty good. Midnight. Probably gonna be a dead midnight. I think Sign I still. Sign Sammy. Send this into Garan because you get the kill on. And, uh, did we see a Ruthless on Deathfire? Uh, oh, yeah, because here he doesn't exist anymore in terms of the condition. All right, so Midnight's off the table. Was that was that really necessary, though, in... Greg? Was no, that... I don't think it was. <laughs> I really don't think it was. I mean, I didn't have to drop a Connor net on Jendon, but I did. It was, it, maybe yeah, it well, was necessary. I mean, yeah, you don't get to criticize any drops. I don't get to criticize anything. I technically shouldn't even be talking. I have no idea what how to play this game anymore. <laughs> and to think you were late to a date for it. Yeah, right? I, I was late for a date in a game I lost 19 to 18. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, Nicholas, you can't catch a break. <laughs> yeah, how'd the date go? Really good, actually. So... Yeah, so it was more like I, yeah. <laughs> oh, ma'am. Well, nine to three. Took a damage there. And chat has died. Leak. Where are you at, chat? Where are you at? Where'd you go? We just had this whole little bit about me being late for a day because of a game and no one said a thing. Somebody attack me, please. <laughs> looking like a fast game thank you desi i was starved for a chat i appreciate you saying something let's dissect that comment greg this is looking like a fast game like game one i wouldn't have any idea what you're referring to as somebody who did not participate in game one in any manner <laughs> who had no role in that i had most of that sentence written then nick asked for a burn thank you I will get an ice pack, even though it doesn't burn too much. Oh, you hear that, Desi? He's calling your burn weak. Ooh, it's a weak burn, dude. You should consider not being so weak with the burn. Take that. It's a Canadian burn. That's the thing, right, Greg, is that, like, with, with Canadian insults, you still feel like they're not insulting you because they're just so nice. And then he, so he apologized right after he said, I'm sorry. Like, he, he's like, sorry, you know. Canadians don't really insult the person. They like to insult institutions. They're like, uh, oh, yeah, you're from Buffalo, eh? Huh? <laughs> huh? Government's pretty corrupt, huh? Like, yeah, man. Yeah, nope. Oh, 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 I still am loving the Connor net <laughs> here from Deathfire. It's going to be quite nice. You just drop it right out the back. 
and uh, you uh, you immediately are going to clip uh, DT, who's already on board. She's already on two holes, so will be down to one, and will be ionized, and will likely get fadered. <laughs> Just such a terrible experience, man. Death Troopers Vader rack is. is I really is just don't think Vader should be a thing. I I really well, believe that in my heart. Four points, man. It's the same cost as elusive. What are we doing? Ope is Michigan, not Canada, but probably fair. I think Ope applies to a lot of places. I know the Midwest is certainly an Ope place, but I believe you could Ope in Canada as well. Maybe Desi can verify. Desi or Bender or whoever else is here. Cam, maybe Cam is here, although they're all cams. Isn't that what we agreed? There's like a thousand cams. There's so many cams. Ope is Midwest kind of all over. And Snaggletooth also saying that. I might be wrong. I've never been wrong about anything in my life, um, ever. Let's see. Is Ope something, I'm Googling this, said in Canada? Okay, there are self reports. This is very, very promising here. People from of the word being used in US, Canada, and the United Kingdom. Can you believe it? The bloody Wankas across the pond are using Ope? I, I asked team. Google where is Ope said, and it said Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Michigan. Topic of Ope in the US and maybe Canada. Well, I'm going to Reddit, so we all know this is going to be scathing. Is it why does everyone always say Ope is a Midwestern thing? Okay, so this person is saying, Do you use it? Where are you from? So it says, it says Iowa. Wisconsin. Okay, well, this Reddit thread does not help me as much as I thought. So I'm not going to bring it up again. 30 things Canadians say that Americans don't understand. What Would this be? that be in this? That would be weird, because we all understand hope. Bit of uh, conflicting reports over there, isn't it? Sorry. Bless your heart. Yeah. Are, are you going away on holiday anytime soon, Greg? Will you be taking a trip to hospital? Oh, we're we doing Cockney? Be the conf oh god, I can't do it. <laughs> god, well, Cockney's like an orc in Lord of the Rings. What, what about their names? They don't need those. <laughs> Hello. Been a collecting reports there, ain't it? Been a collecting reports there, ain't it? Yeah. That's more Australian. If you don't understand anything, it's Australian. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually just doing thing. an Andre impression. Well, Andre's a little bit more soft-spoken there, mate. You know, a little, a little bit of rolling the dice. And... Sorry, mate. Gonna kill you. Oi! Thank you, Savoir. Oi. Oi. Savoir, the Grim Reaper. Poor Sev. He was all like, oh, look at you. He was like cheering me on like I was a child. Like, <laughs> Look who completed a maneuver and didn't bomb himself this turn. I know you. Wow, you actually did mess everything up this turn, Nick. <laughs> I do a good Australian Alanis Morissette. Hop in the booth and do it. Oi. Mixed impersonation. Don't worry. Seval Seval talks a lot. Sounds a lot better than my bad impersonation of him. <clears throat> he was a good opponent. I just I always just thought it was really funny that he was trying to make me feel better when my game was just so bad. It's like it's all right, man. You can this keep is... your sympathies for somebody that deserves it. <laughs> is this what Deathfire wants to be doing? A reverse maneuver? Oh no, the red is going straight. That's that's a Nick Sperry maneuver right there, off to the board edge. Yeah, I think Sean's oh. being nice and when Catherine put in the right Go direction. Go the other way. Oh, Sean! Sean is a really good nice guy. Good guy, Sean. Good guy. That's a good the guy there, one. Eh? Yeah, the the old the ultra one, dude. You thank thank you very much, Dave. Like Shimon, a planes mix one today. He's he's not even he's not even doing Andre. He's doing fucking Korg. No, no, sorry, they do doing Andre. Yeah, I'm doing Andre. You have to talk a little bit deeper. A little deeper voice, dude. Lies, I repeatedly said, as a 312 subscriber, I expect better out of you. Dude, for sure. As a 312 subscriber, I expect you to not be the worst player I've ever seen play this game. Mm. I mean, Seb was literally telling me, Seb was literally telling me how to drop bombs because I had no idea what I was doing. Like, it was, it was rough. 
So he deserved the dub just for that. And Rockley have a nice player list, and Sean just got himself added. Am I at the top of that list, or where do I belong on that list? I, I assume I'm there in big letters, and I C K. It sounds like a clone. What, is, what, what sounds like a clone? I do a good Australian Alana. Okay. And isn't it ironic? I Don't might confuse you for myself, to be honest. Well, here's the thing, Fish. You have a much, you have, you have like a wife, so just shut it. <laughs> you cannot possibly confuse me for you. Andre letting the internet rando convince him to do a whole Star Wars Unlimited draft before playing is just a great encapsulation of the man. So are they? A little limited? Hello. Hello. All at us. My, my mom has returned. I had a wife when I was 24, and it was the opposite of a flex. Well, good for you. You married young. Not only are you married now, Fish, but you've married before. So even even when you were trying to say you're trying look, to look at look at this guy, better, he's still flexing. Being married twice, <laughs> he's still flexing on us here, folks. Did Sean fly Tierney last week, or is this? I don't know what Sean flew last week. Did he, did he stream Sean's game last week, Greg? Uh, there's zero chance that I would remember if I did. Well, that's a shame. You should consider remembering. Damn, you should, that 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 is sad, fish. I'm sorry to hear that. Andre is missing the uh, Andre impressions. He's so he. I did get an endorsement from him. He said I was spot on with with it last time. So yeah. You wanker. He, he seems so so much like he would criticize someone for something. Yeah, he, she's got your N sixty four. Get that shit back, Nick. <laughs> Call her up. Be like, it's been so long. I really miss you. By the way, do you still have my N sixty four? You fucking bitch. <laughs> uh, so so there was a Twitter thread. Greg, where it's like, who is your Star Wars crush? And the, the post had um, Felicity Jones, who's a you know great pick. And then I'm scrolling through all the replies because it's Twitter. And somebody posts Sabine from Rebels. And I commented, I think she's 16 in the show. And the person yeah. com commented with the shocked emoji saying, really? <laughs> I mean, yeah. What is happening to my Yeah, are we really going to say the 16-year-old version of Sabine is the crush? It's interesting. Well, they didn't know. They didn't know. It's not like it's ever explicitly stated. Know, but, you know, know, do I, it like well, a Google. I, I did the most Twitter thing, though, and just say I think she's 16, just because, I mean, what is Twitter if not accusing people of being a pedophile? <laughs> I love how everyone in Star Wars did more than I'll do in my entire life by the time they were, like, five. Like, it's Sabine so, so at the time of Rebels had already destroyed her people. As a 16 year old, I'm like, I barely was able to get tacos by myself. Oh, God, Tecumseh is quoting astrology. Cheating whore. Jeez, Sherman. Uh oh. Jesus Christ. It might have been fish. It might have been fish that was involved in this. Why not the Charlie? <laughs> you guys are goobers, man. You're not allowed to have fun like this. No, no, not okay. Freaking goobers. What a bunch of goobies. Now that's what I call a bomb. A boom? Man, Rack being... Having that much health at this point. I think that's so 11 damage cards now. Or 11 hole, rather. There it is. A spicy Chicago deep dish pizza bomb. 
Oh, here we go again. I was doing some scouting on Sev's Sev wall uh, for last week, which clearly that helped me a lot. Uh, and um, I skipped to a point in the game where Greg just flat out was, you know, dunking, dissing Chicago deep dish and just Chicago food in general, and I had to stop. Mm -hmm. So that's why I blame Greg. Best part of the stream. Bye, I lost. I mean, I should know better. Like, it will always be a part of the stream. Every There will be Chicago slander. Always. Vader into DT. So DT down to one and about to get fucking wrecked by Rack. So let me explain something. Deep dish pizza is not only not better than New York pizza. Great regime, Mike. It's not pizza. Greg was secretly dunking his deep dish and more sauce off stream. No, it's already a soup. Oh, it's a soup now. Okay. Now that I am worried about continual winning, I plan on being unscattable for the foreseeable future. Well, couldn't we have had that game not in front of everybody and just lose the same way, but just not in front of the world, Seth? But you wanted to play on the stream, and I said, okay. <laughs> Gaelic is going to coordinate, but can't what's really... Thing about, what? Sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. I had a question. Go. But Ask what, what was this thing about a Apple in Olive Garden? I, like You said that, and I just like meant to ask about it and forgot. You said, like... There was some antitrust thing you said. With, you said Olive Garden, right? Walled Garden. Oh, that makes more <laughs> sense. <laughs> Maybe I'm just hungry. I was like, how does Apple, what does Apple have to do with Olive Garden? No, the the things that only Apples can do, like iMessage and shit, it's called the Walled Garden. Oh, got it. The Walled Garden. Not to be confused with a popular but kind of crappy Italian restaurant chain. Quote unquote Italian, by the way. <laughs> All right, Gaelic, who are we going to shoot? My Italian great grandfather hated Olive Garden. Yeah, no, it's not. You know, if you're any Italian in your blood, probably should be eating at Olive Garden. Yeah, go to Carabas. That's where it's really at. Just go to go to um, go to Long John Silver's. Yes, the well-known Italian restaurant well, Long John. Well, Italy Silver's. Italy is surrounded by water, so then there's fish. Mm -hmm. a long time over, so do, do you need a his, do you need a geography lesson here right <laughs> Carabas is just as bad but you pay more how dare you this is gonna be a plasma torp Ooh. into tyranny yeah this is just barely range two to be able to fire it and there it is whoop there it is and so the crit gets canceled first yeah Looks like uh, two shields. It's on the focus. He would disown my family for going. Honestly, I respect that. I believe J.R. Tolkien disowned one of his family members for vouching for the uh, films. Or not J.R. Tolkien, Christopher Tolkien, rather, because obviously Tolkien was not alive when those movies were made. He didn't like the films? Oh, he hated them. He thought that they were a bastardization of his dad's work. Oh, my God. And he had a... He, he realizes his family. dad's work is the most boring piece of fiction ever wrote, it's, right? It's, it's, well, it's it certainly has its dull moments. I don't know if I'd ever call th those the most boring pieces of fiction ever written. I mean, they kind of created fantasy, so, in a lot of ways.
He's a bastardization of his dad's work. Jeez, that's that's rough. I certainly wouldn't go as far to say that Christopher Tolkien is a bastardization of his dad's work. That's hilarious. <clears throat> didn't I say fantasy? I didn't you did say I fantasy. It. Yeah, okay. Tolkien created, yeah. Somebody else said fiction? Or, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe uh, yeah. I guess I didn't misspeak, but I wouldn't be surprised if I did, just knowing me. Tolkien I, created I, jack shit. Tolkien uh, created a way why to is it spend 18,000 <laughs> paragraphs dude. on fucking grass. Oh, he does spend a lot of time talking about, you know, he, he, honestly, he loved his world so much that he's like, I don't care if anybody else likes this, but I love it. And, and Frodo like walked on the grass. It was green grass with little brown splotches. The grass could have used a nice rain, but it didn't rain in autumn as much as it did. And yet Frodo walked on the grass anyway, thinking, eh, pretty grassy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a good quote. Pulled from page 732. That's a direct one. quote from the book. Greg, if you lived in mud, World War I. Confirmed Greg can't read. Absolutely Greg confirmed. can read, and that's it's the worst part about being Greg. Because fucking I had to read that book. And man, was it a slog. The fe fellowship or which one? Fellowship? Yeah, the first, first one. one. The whole. Yeah. I mean I've been reading through it slowly. I bought it I bought it in an air, air airport bookstore. I was like, you know what? Now's a great time to try and read this shit. So I bought it well, you the, clearly didn't have the intention of actually reading it, it sounds like. You just bought it because you thought you wanted to make yourself look good, you know? Clearly. No, oh, yeah. Everyone knows that if you see someone reading Lord of the Rings on the fucking plane, you, you want to sit next to them. Yeah, well, you, you're cultured because Tolkien was an Oxford professor and at the height of, of authorship. Oh, yeah, being an Oxford professor is so prestigious. Let's it, see it, what it, criminals it is prestigious, my friend. Have been so, at Oxford at the time. What criminals okay, well, have been what criminals? an Oxford professor? <laughs> You can apply that to anything, the, the, the way you just responded. You could do that First for result, Oxford University professor and U.S. professor charged with murder. Well, that's good. <laughs> At least they know how to work together. <laughs> they're going, they're taking a lot of people to hospital. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I haven't I haven't updated that in a minute. Oh, somebody just commented on one of your videos saying they're disappointed. <laughs> when, yeah, well, when not, first. not right now, <laughs> but like one of the one of one of the video comments was like, I really enjoyed the game, but I was kind of sad that they didn't talk about the talk game about at it. all. I remember that one. I remember that one. Yeah. Really enjoyed the game. Just the only thing is, you know, if you guys want to keep politics out of X Wing, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys want to just like shut up every now and again, that'd be great. <laughs> oh. The GSP wishes they had commentary like this. How many times has Nick or has Will been like, man, wish I could go off on Tolkien's shitty writing? But I can't. A lot, dude. Dude, he pulled me aside once and he told me, "Man, I wish I could go off on Tolkien's writing on our yeah. streams." And I said, "Really? Really, Will? Is that how you feel?" He said, "Yes." And I wish I could talk about how much we hate taxes, but we can't. Mm -hmm. He said both of these things. They happened. Twitch chat is a real game commentary. I always recommend watching the vods back. I always appreciate people saying, "Wow, that was dumb. Why did that? Why did Nick make that choice?" It, it definitely because I, I I agree with a lot of what the Twitch chat says. So yeah, don't, why did I do that? <laughs> don't watch the vod. Watch the YouTube video. Or you could do both at the same time. It, I will say it is weird, like watching the YouTube videos back and there's no music because I get so used to watching your streams. I uh, I just I. Like two weeks ago, I made the change to put the music back in. Hell yeah. Because it always seemed weird to me, but now every single one of them gets claimed. But since they don't do any, I don't like make any money off the channel anyway. I don't give a fuck. They all, even when you hit YouTube safe, they all get claimed. Yeah. That's weird. It's usually like one in like. And, and the thing is, like, if I, if I, uh, like appeal, it'll get released. 
Ah, there we go. These two would try, but they'd be accidentally muted. Listen, the accidental muting, I can't make fun of because holy crap, am I bad at unmuting guests yeah, we're, a lot all, all the time. We've all, been there. we've all been there, folks. And there goes Jane trying to talk about the game. Yeah, come on, Jane. What are we doing here? Your head out of your ass. Jeez. <laughs> Get your head out of your ass. It's so ironic coming from us. <laughs> yeah. we, our our heads so have been permanently in our ass this, this entire time. That's why Greg has to say run intro. Fuck Numenor. Oh, god Whoa. damn. Wow. Okay, that's that's god damn. harsh one. Numenor, you dare talk bad about Numenor? Yes. I bet you're going to say something about bad about Feanor next. Or even... Even Glorfindel. I bet you have something to say, ba something bad to say about Glorfindel. Who is Tom Bombadil? Yeah, he's, that's, he's that's gone, one of the right? issues with the books. No, uh, no, Tolkien was upset that people thought that he could be God. He said he was just a, he's just a big, jolly guy that is godlike that you could interpret as God, but isn't God, apparently. He's just jolly and sings a lot and completely disrupts the flow of an already slow book. But we love Lord of the Rings. Most of us except Craig. Didn't they want to give the ring to him? And then, like, Gandalf was like, mm. <laughs> yeah, this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I just wish Denethor had lived long enough to start an ASMR channel. Yeah, bring Wood and Oil. I'd, I'd call it Wood and Oil. That'd be the name of the ASMR channel. I'd call it Tomato. <laughs> he was pretty much the Greg of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> That's both insulting and, like, not insulting. <laughs> this is everything. You know what? I'm okay with this. <laughs> I'll allow it. Well, I had no idea we were close to time. Well, that's time. Hey, this game, yeah, I mean, I feel like the game has progressed for a while now. 15 to 7 currently. Didn't Desi say it was quick? Desi betrayed me? Desi betrayed us. He betrayed Didn't Tom us Bombadil have like a super hot wife? Did Rack turn once? I think he just coasted straight. <laughs> yeah, he literally time. just went straight. We might get a bank here. Go straight, Rack. Come on. Throw it into the fire, Greg. Destroy it. That's a ref that's a reference to the Lord of the Rings, Greg, if you need. No. Need that. I was there, Gandalf. I was there when the courage of men years failed, ago. or whatever the fuck he says. Men are weak. Men are weak, but us fucking elf people, we're strong, and now's our time to oh. run away. Did he just call elf people? That's that's a racial slur, dude. Are Good. you kidding me? Elf, elf people, you yeah. people. <laughs> They're like men are weak, and so the elf kind are. We're, we're gonna run away. <laughs> yeah, right. We're going to start holding lanterns and walking through forests looking pretty. Good luck out there. We're looking pretty. Let's get on them ships and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't blame him for that. Uh... Sky 6 took one shot this entire game. I remember there's an interview. Jon Stewart inter did an interview with Bill O'Reilly so long ago, and and he and he asked uh, Bill <laughs> what it was like uh, walking into the office and the eye of Sauron is overlooking it. <laughs> Such a good line. <laughs> I think my favorite uh... Jon Stewart moment, besides the pizza thing, was when he had the president of Pakistan on. And was like, hey man, fucking lied to me about Bin Laden, huh? It was after they got Bin Laden in Pakistan and like the president yeah. had been on earlier. And Pakistan had been, was like, all mad. It's like, not on my front yard. <laughs> and he's like, it was a military house that was reported multiple times for being fucking suspicious. 
Yeah, they were hard. They're they're definitely it, you got to get the vibe they're harboring of because like they were all upset that they like the America came in. And it's like yeah, th what else would like yeah, that's what's gonna happen, my guy. We're gonna they're gonna come in and find him and kill him. Sorry, it was in your backyard. How did we? I love how we went from Lord so Lord of the Rings to John Stewart and Lord of the Rings to John Stewart in Pakistan to John Stewart. To, to Bin Laden. So we've really done a nice little <laughs> trek around the commentary world. Paul says, I was in Afghanistan when that happened in Kos, just southwest of the area in Pakistan. Yeah, well, I was in Florida, which is more of a war zone. What is Af Afghanistan animation? Is that a place? Afghanistan animation. Yeah, Afghanistan animation. Have you ever been to Afghanistan animation? Afghanistan animation station? <laughs> Do you ever just like tell a bad joke, Greg, and then you see your viewership drop by like eight viewers? You're like, oh, <laughs> I've really no, done something right here. I, I think I've done a really good job of like preparing my viewers for the really bad jokes. <laughs> yeah. If you've conditioned them. Dude, Jane, I saw that on fucking. Uh, oh, is that Twitter. Vin Diesel as Osama bin Laden? No, there's some like fucking dude named Osama bin like. His, his like sister is oh, no. fucking like Saddam Hussein. <laughs> like the family's crazy. She's naming their kids after these people. Catherine twice using ruthless. What a ruthless thing to do. Or that there's that great Curb Your Enthusiasm sketch with Richard Lewis, rest in peace, where where Larry accidentally sends be, says Ben Laden, and then they create this whole like alternate universe where there's a Jewish store owner named Ben Laden. <laughs> Dude, the Palestinian chicken place is so funny. Oh, I love that show so much. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's where that iconic moment is where he's like being yelled at from both sides and he's just making that, like, oh, I don't know what to do face. Yeah. Just. <laughs> Rack banked, not turned. So he never did turn. So, what did we learn from this game, kids? Tyranny, not the play. Tyranny, yeah. NFL Insider Leroy. That's 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 a name I haven't seen in a while. I like the little Twitch pop up. It says intended for certain audiences. You, you're damn right. It's intended for very certain audiences. Yeah. Very particular nerds. types of audiences. Some goddamn nerds. I don't think I turned that on. I think Twitch just gave that to me. Like, we've analyzed the audio. and uh... <laughs> Yeah, well, we just don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> or there's the, pharm the pharmacist scene in Curb when, when he's dating a doctor and she writes a note and he needs the pharmacist to transcribe it or to, like, read it out for him and it's talking about the Black family because Leon and the people that are staying with him, are their last name is the Blacks. Mm -hmm. And so the, the doctor's like, I'm sorry that you have all this trouble with the Blacks and the pharmacist is Black. <laughs> and he's like, what is this supposed to mean? He's like, oh, you don't understand, you don't understand. Oh, it's just, oh. All right, well, Catherine wins that one 20 to 8. We've got a game three. Stick around, let's get the last word, and we'll get game three started. Hi, everybody. RB. And now for the last word with Buster Skyspudger. And remember, folks, in the theater of dreams that is the ballpark, every swing's a chance for glory. Keep your eyes on the ball and swing for the fences in your own game of life. For NCX, I'm Buster Skyspudger.